Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. Uh, this is a little bit of a different video. Uh, I realize I've been kind of remiss in talking about something that I think is maybe actually every bit as important as electric cars. And one of the things is basically power tools, right? Or yard equipment, yard tools, things like that. Because, you know, a lot of talk about climate change and you know, I'm not going to dispute that in any way. I think that's a relevant thing to be discussing. Uh, but I also think that we need to understand that our role as individuals, as individual consumers, is very small in the greater uh, climate change picture, counting your carbon footprint, all of that. It's not really that productive and it's not really that realistic, right? Uh, larger organizations are responsible for far more of a uh, carbon impact or a, a greenhouse gas uh, emission impact, at least as far as climate change is concerned. But the reasons for using electric power tools uh, and electric yard equipment uh, is actually largely the same as the reasons why you would use an electric car. Uh, Self-reliance uh, and the reduction of local uh, pollutions, right? Criterion pollutants, uh, particulate matter, things like that. Uh, anybody who's used a two-cycle motor can tell you how aggravating they are, uh, but not only that, you're spilling oil, you're spilling gasoline, <clears throat> you're making noise. Uh, you, you know, it's, 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 again, like I said, if you have to start a two cycle motor, uh, you have to manage the throttle, you have to mix oil with gasoline, uh, it's toxic, you're spilling things, you're carrying it in your car, uh, in an unsealed container a lot of times. Uh, and then if you forget whether you mixed it or not, uh, it, it's all just a pain. And then of course the heat, you can burn yourself on the engine. There's, it's just really inconvenient. And then you have to put in fuel stabilizer and maybe, you know, empty the tank or whatever when you store it for winter. Uh, whereas this, you just leave on a shelf and you keep the battery charged, plug it in like you do your cell phone, and it's there when you need to use it. Um, now, the, the model I wanted to talk about right now is I actually have a, a Greenworks 80-volt uh, chainsaw. This is their Greenworks Pro. I've had it for years and years and years. Um, this one has the 18-inch bar. I really like, uh, you know, they, they use organ um, bars and organ chains. Uh, one thing I'll, I, I'll note is if you get a replacement chain, make sure you don't get a skip chain uh, because I think they started using that and the skip chain uh, misses a cutting uh, blade every, every uh, other cutting blade. And while that will increase your runtime on an electric uh, motor, on an electric chainsaw, it actually reduces your cutting power. Um, and again, this isn't like... They call it professional, but I really consider this basically a standard everyday household chainsaw. For those of you who need a chainsaw, this is really something to replace a 40 to 50 cc uh, gasoline powered chainsaw. So nothing huge, maybe up to a 20 inch bar, uh, but it's a good utility uh, working chainsaw. Uh, some of the things that I like about it though are uh, you have battery options. I have a four amp hour battery, but in it right now I have a two amp hour battery. Part of the reason to do that is because uh, weight, right? If I'm not doing a lot of heavy cutting, um, I don't need that much energy capacity. So losing a couple of pounds of weight is worth it to me. Um, but then if you are doing a lot of cutting, then you want the higher capacity. Uh, the other thing is, you know, I've cut up to probably 12 inch rounds with this. I'm not going to be doing that today. Um, but, uh, but it is capable of a decent amount of cutting and, you know, it's got a metal bumper, which is another huge thing, uh, metal handles with a rubber grip. Uh, so this is a, just a solid all around chainsaw, right? Uh, as good as, like I said, any of the chainsaw, gasoline chainsaws I've used in the 40 uh, to 50 cc range. Um, the, the one thing that I will note that I don't like about it is it, it is um, leak oil. So uh, I don't use petroleum based oil in this. So it's not as big of a deal, right? I'm not spilling toxic chemicals out when it does leak oil, but that is something uh, that the, these Greenworks uh, professional 80 volt uh, chainsaws have been known to do. 
But any, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, yeah, and obviously some of the just basically table stakes, right? Like standard operating equipment, uh, chain brakes, things like that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead, I need to do some trimming up. I just thought I'd show this as I do that because I realized, like I said, I've been kind of remiss in not really talking about these, but there's a lot of reasons to go with um, basically electric power tools and yard equipment uh, just get off of gas for your personal needs. You can charge this up off of a solar panel. Uh, you don't you don't need to go to a gas station. Don't need to buy oil, um, petroleum based oil off a shelf, anything like that. So, anyway, um, well I'm gonna get to trimming. <laughs> Well, I hope that was helpful. Um, just like I said, a quick demonstration of using this, more than capable of cutting easily four to six inch branches. Like I said, I've cut up to 10 to 12 inch rounds with this uh, Greenworks 80 volt. They've updated it um, since I got it. Um, like I said, Oregon bar, Oregon chain, uh, easy to find replacements for it. Um, you know, Greenworks, I think, did a really good job with this. Um, and I would definitely recommend it. Like I said, it's just a basically um, entry level sort of everyday uh, chainsaw. So don't let the professional grade um, fool you. I think this is something that a, you know, just a, a regular old handyman um, can use around the yard and around the, around the property. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish trimming up some of the branches and uh, get done with my chores. But I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you're using, uh, you know, electric garden equipment, uh, what's your reasoning for doing that? Um, what are the benefits that maybe I missed that you're seeing? Um, and uh, yeah, maybe put your recommendations or your experiences. I'm just one guy, so, you know, I'm only buying the stuff that works for me, obviously sharing batteries. So I use multiple things with Greenworks batteries, um, but other people, you know, once you start using one power tool, you'll probably stick with the batteries that go with that. So. Um, Again, let me know what you think, uh, what have you been, your experience has been, and uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and uh, thank you for watching.